Welcome to Ease Us. In this video, we'll show you how to downgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10. Are you feeling frustrated with Windows 11? Encountered BSOD after updating to Windows 11 24H2? Meet performance and compatibility issues? Want to roll back to Windows 10? You are not alone. We'll walk you through the easy steps to downgrade back to Windows 10 while keeping your data safe. Windows 11 has a time limit for rolling back to Windows 10. After upgrading to Windows 11, you have a 10-day grace period to revert back to Windows 10 by clicking the Go Back in Settings. If you attempt to roll back after 10-day limit, you will need do clean install Windows 10. This video elaborates on the two cases and offers step-by-step -step guides on them. Case 1. Downgrade Windows 11 to Windows 10 within 10-day limit. Case 2. Downgrade Windows 11 to Windows 10 after 10-day limit. But first of all, back up each drive to avoid any data loss. Within 10-day, Windows 11 allows you to go back to Windows 10 from Settings. Just right-click the Windows icon and select Settings. Click System, scroll down, and select Recovery. Click on Go Back, and a new window will pop up. Select the reason why you want to go back to Windows 10 and click Next. Then Windows will suggest you check for updates to fix some issues. Just click No, thanks to skip it. Then there is a window tell what will happen after going back. Read it carefully and click Next to continue. If you have a password, please remember it and click Next. Finally, click Go Back to Windows 10 to confirm your action. This will restart your PC and during the process, PC will download Windows 10 and restore your PC to Windows 10. After that, your PC will automatically boot into Windows 10. If you have a password, you will need to enter the password to log in. After the 10-day limit, you can still roll back to Windows 10 by doing a fresh installation. There are two methods to clean install Windows 10. Method 1. Use Windows 10 installation media. Method 2. Use Eases Partition Master. Let's dive into the first method. First, connect a USB flash drive, at least 8 gigabytes, to your PC. Then, go to the Windows 10 download page and navigate to the Create Windows 10 Installation Media section. Click Download Tool Now, then click it to launch. Click Accept to continue. Here, select Create Installation Media and click on Next. Uncheck the Use the Recommended Options for this PC and select the correct language. In this window, select USB flash drive and click Next. Select the correct USB. This will erase all data on the USB. Back up it if it's necessary. Then the PC will download Windows 10 and create a Windows installation USB for you. After done, reconnect the USB, restart the PC, and press the key that opens the boot device selection menu for the computer. Then select the flash drive under the boot menu. Wait patiently and finish the language settings. Then click Install Now. Here, select which you want to install and click Next. Check the I accept the license terms box. Next, select an installation type you want and select a partition where you want to install Windows 10. Format it and click Next. This will install Windows 10. After this, you need to finish some custom settings. Then you can boot into Windows 10. You can also turn to a third-party software to create a Windows 10 installation USB. Eases Partition Master can download and burn Windows ISO file to help you downgrade Windows 11 to Windows 10 efficiently. It is easy to use and time-saving. Without difficult settings, you can create a Windows 10 installation disk. Here is how. Connect the USB to the PC. Download Eases Partition Master from the official website and launch it. Go to the Toolkit section and click on Windows ISO. Then click Download ISO from Microsoft. Select Windows 10 and finish the language settings based on your needs. Click Next on the Select Burn Device page. Click USB Drive and tap Start. Wait for it to complete. After that, boot the PC from the installation USB and finish the settings just like we mentioned before. Thanks for watching our video on how to downgrade Windows 11 to Windows 10. 
Do not forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Ease us for more tech tips if you find any helpful info in this video.